Wild child still sailing in the Bahamas, we're trying to make our way to Great Sail Key so we can position ourselves for our Gulf Stream crossing to Florida in a few days. Sailing conditions in these shallow Bahama waters are beautiful and calm. Even though we're sailing tight to the wind, at least the weather's perfect. Well, just in case you guys think that sailing is always perfect, easy, and fun, we almost had to do the donut of shame. Um, I'm getting bored, so I was laying on my back looking up at the ceiling telling jokes to Alina who was happily enjoying them. Neither one of us was paying attention to the helm and uh, we backwinded the Jenny. So Wild Child started to kind of go a little bit to windward. The wind got squirrely and then the wind changed 20 degrees and it got to the, to the port side of the Jenny and it backwinded it and poof, we fell off. So I, I kind of jumped up because I felt it as it was happening as we crossed the wind. I could feel it as the wind shifted. So I jumped up, got the engine running and used the engine to bring us, cross us back over. Otherwise, we, you know, an accidental tack is kind of shameful for sailors. And I shamefully admit to my mistakes and my screw ups, but I blame my crew. No, I don't blame, blame my crew. It's never your crew's fault, it's always the captain's fault, no matter what. Neither one of us were paying attention, and the wind just suddenly shifted on us. We fixed it with the engine, yeah, that's shameful. We could have fixed it by like adjusting all the sails and just accepting the tack, but I didn't want to tack yet because there were shallows right there, so I just used the engine to cross it back over and get us under course. And the good news is then the wind has, whoa, here we go again, and again. She's doing it again. The wind just crossed again. We didn't back wind because we reacted fast, but we were sailing at like 60 degrees and all of a sudden it went to 20 degrees. And now we're kind of going into the shallows. We're trying not to hit the rocks. Sometimes mom is squirrely like that, like she gets a little moody and she doesn't hold steady. And when you're close hauled, it's a lot more sensitive sailing. Oh, there we go, she's falling again. Man, can't get a steady wind here. Let's go five degrees to port, fall off. We're trying to keep our wind angle around 40 degrees, but you, I don't know if you guys can see the red and green line. She's going kind of shifty right now. It's hard to close haul in an unstable wind, and that's exactly what we have. So I'm gonna come 10 degrees back to starboard. We're gonna to try to climb back up into the wind. We'll see if she's done being shifty. So there you go, that's sailing. And I mean, this kind of stuff happens even to the best of us. This is sailing life. It just, mom's wild and unpredictable and the wind does whatever she wants to do and you just, you just adapt to it. You make your adjustments and you just do what you gotta do. Oh, so now the wind angle's almost at 70. So now, oh, actually wrong way. Now we'll come 10 degrees up into it. So on this course, like 15 seconds ago, we were 30 degrees to the wind, then we're 70 degrees to the wind. Oh, too far. You can tell that it's too far. Now the wind, the wind was at 13, now it's at seven. That's why when you're sailing close hauled, it is a lot more work and you have to pay a lot more attention because you have a lot more small adjustments to make. So sailing close haul is not as relaxing as sailing on a run. Let's see if we can come up. We're 10.7 over four. Wind angle's at 60, but I'm, I got my sails real tight for like a tight wind angle of 30 or 40. So I don't want to get the wind too much to the side when my sails are so tight. Okay, we're at 40, 39. Come down three degrees to port. We're at 38, 37. 10.8 over 4.4, 10 over 4.4, wind angle 46 degrees. Oh, she's moody today. Are you moody? 
not we, the Mother Nature. <laughs> oh, she's not the moody one. I'm in a bit of a mood because I'm bored and restless and I'm being silly like a child. And at least it's better than being grumpy or mean. All right, 10.9 over 5.1, wind angle at 53, 60, 40, 60, 70, 65, 49. Going once, going twice. Oh boy, look at us, we're 11 over 5, yay! <laughs> so eventually, in, later in the afternoon, around 3.30, the wind angle began to improve and conditions got better for Wild Child. The wind picked up to usually over 10 knots. We were going 5 knots of speed and our wind angle is better. We need to get tight around this shoal here and then we can bear off a little more. So for the last little bit of sailing, we've done really well. The wind has started to started its shift around, which is good for us, and it's averaging around 10 knots. Wild Child does great. Like if you look at our wind angle, 35 degrees and we're 12 over four. Oh, I have to fall off a little bit. Sorry, it fell down to 28 degrees. So, you know, 35 degrees, 12 over 4, like, she's good. Wild Child Point's great, but to, to sail directly upwind close hauled, it's hard to do in light, squirrely winds. Like, when the winds get to around 10 knots, they're a little more stable, and there's enough lift to overcome the waves. When the waves, when the winds are 6 or 7 knots and squirrely, because you have to overcome the waves, you lose a lot of energy there, and it's a little harder to sail. We're doing good now. We'll still make it to Great Sail Key after dark though. I'll show you. So Great Sail Key is only, we're only 12 nautical miles from the anchorage at um, 3.51 in the afternoon, but we can't go straight to the anchorage. We gotta go around Propeller Reef. So we have to go this way and then we have to come back in and then we have to go upwind. So our total distance to get to the anchorage is still probably 14 plus, yeah, probably 20 miles. And we have about three hours of daylight left and there's no way we're gonna do that. So we're gonna get there after dark to drop the hook. Oh well, do what you gotta do. At least it's a nice day. Sailing conditions are really quite lovely. I keep trying to film Elena, but she's really quite camera shy. That's sailing life, I guess. Captain at the helm. We are losing the race against the sunset to the anchorage. We're going to be anchoring after dark. Oh, the wind's dying. Crap. Yeah, the wind always goes squirrely as the sun sets. No, I don't know. We may have to motor sail to finish this. We've got six miles left to go. We're losing the wind. We're going to motor sail. We all know how much Captain Lexi hates motor sailing, but sometimes it's the right decision. But motor sailing, Wild Child does arrive at the anchorage just after dark. No top one, turn it all the way till it clicks. Then we kill the three, keep, so keep the anchor light on. Yep. Kill the other three electronics. So then we shut down the helm. How many volts do we have in the electronics bank right now? Yeah. The middle one? The middle blue screen? How many volts? Um, 12.34. Okay, we still have energy in the nav bank. Are we making any solar or any wind energy? Not really. Why does it show? Yeah. Hmm. So we're making 0 0.14 amps. And our electronics bank mm -hmm. is at 12.3. So our energy for running the boat, because we ran the water maker and then we had two gray cloudy days, mm -hmm. our batteries for the helm are a little low and we have two solid days of sailing to go. So okay. I don't know. The 
first glimmer of sunrise finds Wild Child anchored in Great Sail Key. We pulled in in the dark. <clears throat> we arrived about an hour after sunset in total darkness. We've had a good night. It's calm in the anchorage. There are other boats here that made it before dark. That's the 120 foot boat. So the anchorage of Great Sail Key is calm. The sun is just gonna start rising soon. And there's the moon. <clears throat> 